Welcome to the State Central Committee meeting, and thanks to each of you for being leaders in the grand old party. We need your leadership to keep the party of Lincoln the majority party in Nebraska, and to win elections for conservative governance at all levels, ranging from the federal to our governor and unicameral and all the races down the ballot. Your leadership makes a difference, and it takes a GOP with a strong grassroots organization to win. Also, welcome to Columbus. Many great people have come from Columbus to include government leaders, actors, uh, heavyweight boxing champions, it is also the family home of our office's press secretary, Abby Schieffer. Abby is an outstanding member of our team, and she's a great professional with great character and a tribute to Columbus. I thank you for supporting me the last three elections in the 2nd Congressional District. We are the Purple District of Nebraska, and prior to last November, and going back 10 years, the average margin of victory has been two points, just two points. We won last November, though, by five points due to the great team effort involving many of you. Purple district campaigns are tough, and they require a 100% level of intensity, but I never forget all of our victories have been team wins. So I thank God for you, and I do not take you for granted. I support, I serve on the Agriculture Committee, knowing that agriculture is the backbone of Nebraska's economy. I have worked to ensure that Nebraska's diverse needs are incorporated into the Farm Bill. I took an ag trip to Western Nebraska last week and I absolutely loved it. I could see the great character and the work ethic that makes America great. Rural America is my roots. I am the oldest of nine, raised on a farm that had corn, soybeans, and beef cattle. And I did that until I joined the Air Force at 21 years old. I love working with our great farmers and ranchers again. The main message I want to leave you is that we are very close to taking back the House and the Senate. We can do so in 2022. We also must build on the majorities here in Nebraska and ensure we reelect a strong Republican to succeed Pete Ricketts, who has served our state so well. In the House, we are down, to down only by five seats, and the average pickup in the midterm for the party out of power is 31 seats. We have the ability to fire Nancy Pelosi and that we must do. Her toxic leadership must be removed. It will be our ideas and values that lead us to victory, the same ideas championed by President Trump the last four years. Our platform wins. We believe in keeping as much power as possible at the local level. We believe in the preeminence of the family. We keep our tax burden as light as possible. We are pro-life, knowing that God is the author of life and that he has a plan for each of us. We believe in defending our freedoms and that every right in the Bill of Rights is to be defended. We don't skip the Second Amendment. We see the far left attacking our religious freedoms, and we will not retreat from this, the most basic of freedoms. We believe in the free markets that have lifted more people out of poverty than any other system. And we believe in peace through strength. The greatness of America is that we make possible for individuals to achieve greatness, regardless of the circumstances of their childhood. And we see that right here in Columbus, where we honor Andrew Jackson Higgins, who made the Higgins boats that was used in the amphibious landings in Normandy and all over the Pacific. Ike Eisenhower said, Higgins won the war for the Allies. But what many people don't know is that Andrew's dad died at a young age, and Andrew was raised in poverty. But he was a hard worker, had great character, and was a risk taker, and he achieved the American dream. This is America that we must protect. We are the land of opportunity where hard work and character allows anyone to climb the ladder of success. That is what the GOP seeks to protect for every single American. God bless you, and may God bless America.